Heidi hey, how's it going? My name is Lauren May and welcome to this video. Today I am going to be sharing with you what I learned in 2022. I do this every year where I go through kind of the major events of the, the year and I kind of share what I learned throughout the year as well. It's kind of like a recap and uh, what I learned kind of all in one. Um, lots of things happened this year, so there's lots of chances for me to learn and grow. So I'm so excited to share with you what I learned this year. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so I have my laptop here because I'm reading off some of the major events that happened this year. At the beginning of the year, I was super excited and fortunate enough to host a summer drive program on a radio station. I work at a radio station. I'm not sure if I've mentioned that here on this channel at all, but I'm kind of working my way into an announcer role. That was kind of one of the big opportunities that I had. So that was super exciting. I was absolutely terrified but so excited um, and I'm actually doing it again this coming year so in the same chunk of time um, so that's exciting um, but yeah that was an incredible experience I learned so much about myself um, and just radio in general and how to plan a show and all of those things so uh, that was pr pretty pivotal a pivotal pivotal way to start the year. Then I had my birthday. The town that I live in had its last drive-in movie session at the drive-in movie that was closing down. So I guess that was kind of big news for me. I went to a bunch of concerts this year. My brother got married, which is super exciting. So all of the festivities that came with that. I also had some really lows this year. So my boss passed away and that was a whole thing like I had to I lost my job because the business had to be closed but then it was bought out by new owners and so uh, I was hired by the new owners and just like it was a whole thing um, it was a very crazy time of the year so um, yeah that happened I also so I think last year I mentioned in my what I learned video that I started BSF uh, which is a Bible study with Bible study fellowship and I've been doing kind of admin leading a little bit but I was asked into like small group leadership this year which was a huge huge thing um, but we'll come back to that in a little bit more concerts I started going to Pilates and doing some more physical exercise, which if you know me is something I just never ever do. Crazy thing that like the queen died this year. Like what, what is the world coming to, you know? I went to the Denny Ute Master again, which I have a vlog on. I got permanent part time at my radio job. So that's kind of exciting. Something that's actually just happened in the last couple of days. Um, my whole immediate family got COVID at Christmas except me so um, I didn't have Christmas with my mother brother or father which is kind of really sad um, but I did have it with my extended family so that was nice um, so yeah those are some of the major events that happened this year and so let's share what I learned out of it all so circling back to the BSF and starting Bible leading Bible study leading in BSF as I said I was an admin leader which is like someone who like welcomes people and does a lot of the admin and the like behind the scenes stuff um, and I was really comfortable there and I enjoyed it there and I was able to kind of had the best of you know learning and leading at the same time but one of our major leaders she approached me and asked if I wanted to do small group leading and honestly my original answer was no absolutely not I do not want to do that uh, and then she asked me to pray about it which of course I did and then over the course of that week that I was praying about it just these things kept happening that really I couldn't ignore. So one of the first things was I was like scrolling on Facebook and one of the first images that came up was like a quote about stepping into your calling is not meant to be comfortable. And I was like, <laughs> good one God, like that's hilarious. And then the next day I was at like a women's event at my church and that kind of sentimentality came up again about like stepping into your calling is not meant to be comfortable and I was like, okay like I'm starting to hear a pattern here and then the next day at church 
I randomly asked someone to pray for me, which I was new, uh, like I was pretty new at this church. And so that was just very random of me. And as this person was praying for me, they started like prophetically praying, which I've never experienced in my life, which was a very cool experience. Um, and some of what they prayed about was that like the Jordan parting, as I step into this new role, all anxiety will go away and I'll be fully equipped and qualified. And I was like, okay, cool. So I gathered all of this information up and had a conversation with my mentor and I was just like, I really can't not do this, right? And she's just like, no, you really can't not do this. And so I, I guess the way that I made the decision and what I learnt out of this experience was that I would rather obey something and it not be God than disobey something and it was God. So I don't know for sure if those things that happened were God talking to me. I mean, I, I think they are. They all seem to point towards the same thing. So I was like, okay, well, if this is God, if this is God talking to me, I want to obey it because I'd rather obey it and be wrong than disobey it and be wrong. If you know what I mean? Like, uh, I don't know how else to say it, but that's what I learned. And that was really impactful for me at the time. Like I'd never had God speak to me in such a way ever in my life. So I was pretty thrown for like in a good way like this was exciting for me I was excited that God was speaking to and through me and calling me into something because I had never felt that before I didn't even feel that when I was admin leading so I was yeah very excited to see where that adventure um took me and since then it's been an absolute blessing being in leadership with the ladies that I've been leading at BSF has been so wonderful I've grown so much I feel like I'm not even really doing anything but I know that I'm I'm stepping out in obedience and that God is working through me and I am just the vessel so if I continue to operate like that then I feel like it'll be such a blessing for both me and them and um, I can grow in my relationship with God as well so that's one of the things that I learned this year the next thing that I learned this year is actually one of the most recent things that I learned and it's because of this whole COVID Christmas situation that I had where my immediate family all had COVID and it was kind of really sad like I was upset that I didn't get to really spend most of my Christmas with my favorite people I mean that's life right but what I did learn out of that is that even when things are sucky there's positive things that can come out of that so as I said I was able to spend the day with my cousins and some of my extended family that I hadn't seen for a while I wasn't alone my family wasn't alone they had a positive Christmas and I had a like over negative front Christmas and I think there's there's beauty in that and and even though it's abnormal and not not what we were used to we were still able to you know enjoy family and enjoy each other's company and have a great Christmas and even in the morning me and mom and dad you know had masks on and we were giving each other gifts and we were still able to have somewhat of a normal Christmas um, and I think yeah it was just a nice reminder that even in crappy situations there is a positive in there even if you can't really see it, there is something always good and the last thing that I learned this year is actually something I don't know if I've fully learned it yet or if I'm still in the process of learning it or how it if it's come to finality yet or not but it's definitely been a huge part of this year and that is this is the way my life is supposed to happen like I am where I am meant to be I think a lot of this year I spent grieving a life that I didn't get or didn't have or the life that I wanted that didn't turn out that way yeah there's lots of things that I thought would have happened by now or that would have happened differently and I just went through a little bit of a grieving process of all of that and I guess one of the things that came out of that that I'm learning and learnt is that you know I am where I'm meant to be like this is the way that my life was meant to happen like some of the decisions that I made I was meant to make I didn't like mess up a decision and led myself down a wrong path like this is right here perfectly where I am meant to be I think and I just have to trust in God's perfect timing for the things that I thought I wanted or still do want but haven't got yet. And just remember that 
the ultimate prize is relationship with God um, and I'm trying really hard to get better at understanding and comprehending and leaning on that part. As I said, I'm still in the process of learning all of that and I struggle with that grief a little bit still. I am where I'm meant to be and I'm trying to live my life like it's already back begun because in some aspects I was living my life like it hadn't quite started yet. Like I, you know, if I, when I got married my life would begin or when I got my dream job my life would begin. But my life has already begun and I'm starting to realize that there are so many things to be grateful for and so many good things that I've got going on in my life. And so I just have to remember that, you know, this is where I'm meant to be for right now and right here, right today, I can still be, you know, loving God, loving people and, you know, living according to his will. So yeah, that's a bit of a convoluted way of saying it, but I think that made sense. <laughs> that's what I learned this year in 2022. I'm excited for 2023. There's a lot of possibilities that I'm excited for. Um, opportunities and things that can or could come up but I don't want to get my hopes up and I just want to live each day that I'm given you know enjoying life as it is and and not longing for something that I don't have yet stay tuned for my new year video where I share with you my goals for the year um, I hope you have a happy new year and we'll chat soon I hope you're having a wonderful day and don't forget to hug someone today bye